Okay, it's had an update. The uh, new release has had an update. Um, I was asking on the forums whether everybody else, anybody else was having the same issue with the um, AI strength. Uh, a few other people had a look at it, and yes. So, shout out to... Can't even say your name. Could I lol lol? <laughs> you know who you are. Thank you. Um, Beezer and uh, Thunder Flash Fred then chirped up. Um, put a new patch out. We're going to try it now. Okay, so I've got four laps here at Le Mans. Um, I'm running the car stock. I'm starting in the middle of the field. We've also got uh, FIA GT1s and standard GT1s at the back of the field. Mods and standards. Watch the lights. Shouldn't see any of those. I'm going to use the uh, flappy paddles. Go, go, go. Well, that said, I've not done any tuning on the car. I'm running bone stock. Now the... Uh, 333 SP is a bit long in the tooth compared to these other cars. Like that. Side. GT1 in front of us. So what they've done is they've uh, adjusted the uh, the handling of the car somewhat. I can confirm the understeer on power is gone. Um, and they've also adjusted the BOP slightly. Don't expect to be uh, flying off in the front of the field because the car's not really got it in it. And um, we are running the AI at 100% now, there. not 80. Still there. And we're kind of staying in with them. On your right. Clear right. Yeah, that turn in is lovely and sharp, and it doesn't. Yeah, he just holds it all the way for the corner. Beautiful. On your left. I'm not getting squamped. I'm staying with the pack. Still there. Clear left. Car right. Clear right. Back end is a little more frisky. Front end is definitely sharper. Still a great force feedback coming back. All right. Clear right. On your right. Clear right. No, quite managed that. I did try this track uh, yesterday uh, at 100% AI and I was just, on your left. I'd miss a gear change, I'd be six Hold seconds down on the car in front, down the straight, and now we're, uh, we're holding with them, and we are hitting the, uh, not the rev limits, but we are getting the red light coming on down Still the straights with a bit of a draft, so I'm definitely getting more power out of it. Leave me a second this time. Uh, maybe that was a bad idea. Right side. So I'm looking at the fancy bits of glass Watch and uh, somebody who's sneaking up on the right. I've got my foot pinned, I would be in that wall. <laughs> Still got a little tiny bit, but i.e. we're not defying physics. Um, it feels right. I really have to put the boot in to get anything kind of to understeer this thing. Gives me a little bit of an edge in the corners, as you can see, where I'm let down power-wise in the straights. Eighth place. Yes, to make three laps of fuel left. But it's a beautiful car to drive, and you can be a little bit competitive. It doesn't like this bit, of course. 
if he does. Not when I'm driving, anyway. Came in there a bit hot. Abort. <laughs> Oh, that statue is beautiful. So they've done a little bit of playing around with the diff, I think, uh, the BLP. Uh, the various little bits of aero and stuff. Uh, the car still feels great, really tight. Just dialed out some of the... Uh, the nastiness out, I can still lock that back up, dropping down the gears too much, which is right. So, uh, Exil has not dropped his escort yet, I think Wolf is still uh, touching up the paintwork. Uh, so I've not touched the Mercedes SEs, I want to do a kind of a blind walk into that one if you like. Major slippage going in there. So I am looking forward to that. So Xela, if you're watching, hurry up, lad. Sorry, Wolf, if you're watching, hurry up, lad. <laughs> Getting itchy Watch fingers, time. wanting to have a go at these two cars. Still there, clear left. Remembering to be a bit more calm on the downshifts there, give them a bit of time to. Uh, Sort it out. The Audi there on my right. Not really doing much. I'm sticking in the pack. Yeah, I will officially say this is fixed. Thumbs up. We're at 100 AI and it is just right. spot on what we come to expect. Oh, okay. Right. Went in a bit tight there. Oh, the uh, on your left. first gear. Oh, back wobbled. Right. Watch in, go. Left side. Yeah, back lock, dropping down to first. It was a bad idea. It was my idea, and it was a bad one. So the last lap shenanigans we keep seeing, I'm determined that this time. I'm not going to look at how many laps I've got left. It will just be a surprise for all of us. Because if I look, I will crash on the last lap. It has now become a mental thing, I think. I need to go and see a therapist. Talking of therapy, uh, you're all lucky because I was going to do a uh, VTOL video tonight. Then I spotted that Fred had uh, jumped on and sorted this out for me and everybody else. So I had to give it another go and uh, see if it was uh, sorted, which it is. I can make it huge, look, huge. And on the brakes. Big lock up. I can't even check my tyres because I'll see my lap counter. I'm trying to ignore Jim. It's kind of even one ear out the other with him so I think I should be all right with him shouting at what lap I'm on and I'll, I'll, I won't hear it. Whoa. Well yeah that uh, that power on understeer even the gone. Must have been losing a lot of time on that. Got a brace of uh, BMWs behind me is that what a, a couple of BMWs is called a brace? I'm not quite sure. Uh, late breaking. Five. Oh, four. That's three. Down to second. <laughs> Watch the back end for lock in. Bouncing off the limiter as we lift the wheel up over the curb then. I'm not making any dents in it, but I'm not the fastest in this car. It's going to take a while just for me to uh, come to grips, we come to terms with it all. Okay, let's talk through what I'm doing. 
and we'll talk through now after we stop bouncing across the track. Okay, we're up in fifth gear, we're coming up over the hill. Got a BMW on my side, another BMW looking on the other side. Oh, low fuel light has just come on. Swinging wide, braking now. Just lazy braking down to second. Sorry, gear changing down to second, running as wide as I can. Keeping the left hand wheels over the other side of the kerb just so I've got a bit of traction and not bouncing like a crazy film. Down dustpan alley. Give him a bit of room. This <laughs> is full, full whack. Hold your line. There he is. Hold your line. Green bit down here. I'm going to break out and drop Still one there. gear. Braking, Clear drop brakes. one gear. Turn in. Heavy on the brakes. All the way down to second. Turn in. Get the apex. There's a lovely camber on it. And braking again, down to second. I'm going first. All right, clear right. Just control it this time so I don't lose the back end. Read on the track, of course, to find the gap. I'm going to stay in front of the car in front. I'm not going to stay in front of the car behind. Or I am. Anyway, what I was saying, I'm going to try and keep any slipstream up here. Dropping one gear and trying to keep tight on this apex. That's better. Rolling the throttle, pretty much maxed out there. That on the steer's gone. Okay, lifting, 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 just balancing it on the throttle. The other BMW is giving me a load of hassle. Switching over, dropping to third. Straighten that chicane out as much as we can. We're going to late break here down to third. That's fourth, third. Back wheels locked a bit, just preempted it down to second as much curb as I can. Now have we got another lap? Okay. So we may run out of fuel, I'm not sure. It's a second, see if we can get our place back here. Get up as close as we can. So we've got this over the top of the hill, which is fourth. We're just going to feather it a bit so we can stay tight for this third gear here. Big camber, get in on it, hook in on it. This one hasn't really got much camber. This one is awkward. He's in loads of road. Now is the other BMW going to come past me? I need to get in the slipstream and the guy in front. I think I just about am. Yes, we definitely are. The red lights on. We're gaining. Late breaking late now. Whoa, back's locked. To counter steer that, keep it going in a straight line. All right, Owen. Although be it sideways. <coughs> Can't really use engine braking with the F like the gear sticking, the gear paddling this. There's no uh, blip on the downshift. Lock the rear up very easily. Okay, again. Uh, I'm going to look, see if we can make him go defensive. Right side. Down to third. Down to second. That was a bit cheeky. That was a broad bent moment. Shove him out of the way. But a slight, a slight tap. He's still here though. On your right. I outbreak myself. On your line. Yeah. Run a bit. On your line. On your line. Okay. Break in. Braking gently, whoa, locking them back wheels up. Got a feeling my tyres are taking a batter in a bit. So yeah, here we are at 100%, four laps in at the moment. And we're going wheel to wheel with these guys, which is fantastic. Car right. Hold your line. Do we back out? Still there. Oh, no. Still there. Leaving room, just give me a tap back. I'll take that one. I've got more camera, I can get more grit. Moving to the inside. It's a bit cheeky there. I was trying to move in one smooth motion, but the rear's locked up when I dropped to first. <laughs> but I'll take it, I'll take it. I now need chameleon eyes so I can uh, look in both mirrors at the same time. 
Yeah, and that was Rear's locking. Tires are getting a little bit. Oh, one litre remaining, did he say? Oh no, could run out of fuel here. Let me have a look. Don't know, there's nothing here telling me my fuel. Uh, 0.6 of a litre, yeah. Taking it easy, taking it easy. Okay, too easy. Kind of a crash, not a crash. E9, okay, it's over. Uh, point 0.1 of a litre of fuel. Half a can of Coke, and now I've got none. <laughs> Should have checked my fuel before I started. But anyway, uh, he's run out. There you go. Um, back in the garage. Anyway, uh, that update works fantastic. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Credo. And thank you, Beezer, for looking at that. And uh, everybody uh, getting it sorted so quick. Mighty impressive. Just like the mods, really. So, hope you enjoyed. Adios. Adios.